Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install the Shockwave player if you're using Internet Explorer 8. So the first thing you need to do as always is log in. And once you're logged in, um, you should automatically be taken to the Freebingo Games page. At this point you may receive a pop-up message asking for permission to install Shockwave player depending on what your current settings are on your PC. So obviously just press allow uh, and then that will allow the games page to load. Now once the games page loads, all you need to do then is just pick one of the rooms, just anyone, so I'll just pick Easter Room. Click on that once and the game room should pop up <coughs> and Adobe Shockwave should begin to install. If nothing pops up at this point, you may want to check your security settings just to make sure you haven't got any kind of pop-up blocker preventing the game from appearing. Now halfway through the installation process, there'll be another pop-up and what it will ask you is do you want to install Norton Security Scan. Now this has absolutely nothing to do with the game. You don't need it. It's just how Adobe Shockwave make money. So when this appears um, you can either install it if you want it or uncheck it if you don't and then just click next. And then um, Shockwave will continue to be installed. Now one thing um, that you may find worrying is at this point the game will suddenly disappear. Okay, it's, there's, there's nothing wrong, it's just a, a little bug with Internet Explorer. Once it's installed, it minimizes the screen. So all you need to do is just scroll down to the bottom, click the tab again, and voila, it's back. Also, you may want to just give it a few more seconds, because if you look closely here, it says done and nothing appears to be happening but actually it's still loading mm. so just give it a few more seconds and there we go this is the final loading screen and the next time you log in to play you won't have to go through all of that anymore it should only just take a couple of seconds to get into each game you only have to do this once and there you are and we're in the room so now you're ready to play bingo